Hey guys, Mark from WizCase Experts, and in today's video, we're gonna review the top three free VPNs that the internet has to offer, and are they really free? Let's find out. We all love free stuff, but as we know, nothing is really free, and there's always a catch. Same goes for free VPNs. Free VPN companies usually offer a free limited version of the VPN, uh, limited daily data, limited features, or limited server locations, and that is in order to make you try their VPN, get used to it, and then buy a full service or premium package of that VPN. In today's review, I will compare the top three free VPNs available on the market, what their free packages offer, and how good these VPNs are when it comes to speed, streaming and torrenting, security, and more. Before we begin, I want to remind you that there are links in the description below to all the free VPNs I'm going to mention in this review, as well as discount links to some affordable, better alternatives, so make sure to check those out as well. Also make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on more useful videos we upload every week. So without further ado, this is my pick of the top three free VPNs. Number one, Proton VPN, number two, Winscribe, and number three, Hi.me. Going straight to our first category, let's see what free packages these VPNs have to offer. Proton VPN, which is the exceptional out of the three, offers unlimited data, one device per user, and three different server locations. Winscribe VPN offers 10 gigabytes of data per month, unlimited devices per user, and 10 different server locations. Hi.me's free version offers 10 gigabytes of data per month, one device per user, and three different server locations. All three VPN providers have the biggest data packages and server locations, but when compared to paid VPNs, these numbers are pretty low and will limit your usage of the VPN. So we would suggest maybe waiting until the end of this review to decide if free VPNs are even worth downloading. Now onto our second criteria, speed. On all three VPNs, we had about 25 to 35% reduction of speed from a closed server and around 60% reduction from a really far away server, which is fair for a free VPN. With all VPNs, we were able to surf the web regularly, but what about streaming and torrenting? Even though their speeds are quite okay, as you have seen, free VPNs have limited monthly data packages and not a lot of servers or server locations, so they won't be that useful when it comes to unblocking streaming services or torrenting, which kind of sucks. And to our fourth and final category, privacy and security. Although they may claim otherwise, free VPNs are known to be less secure than paid VPNs. And that's simply because VPN providers need to make money somehow, which they do by selling your information to advertisers and other third parties. So if privacy is important to you, free VPNs are probably not the choice for you. In conclusion, although free is tempting, I believe free VPNs don't really let you enjoy the real benefits of a VPN, and I do think it's better to just go with a paid VPN. Also, if you are new to the VPN world and you want to test it, you can use the 30-day money-back guarantee other paid VPNs have to offer, and if you're not happy, just cancel it. I will leave discount links in the description below to some good VPNs in an affordable price, as well as links to the free VPN services if you still insist on using them. If you liked our video, please leave a comment below, tell us about your experience with free VPNs, or just like our video to show your support. Until next time, I'm Mark from Whiskase.